you're watching CCTV Hub, we'll be doing a video on the uh, Zmoto Pivot Camera, which is like a little black camera that can basically uh, turn around, look up and down. So as you can see, um, after you power it on, it'll start rotating around just to test to see if uh, everything is working on it. And um, so some things we're going to go over is um, on the end, basically we're going to go over this over the uh, Android device. And when we are setting up initially, you're going to need certain bits of information. Uh, this is so that uh, you can connect this device to your Wi-Fi. So on the screen here, you're going to see a couple different things. Uh, the first name is the Wi-Fi name or SSID. Now, depending on the firmware, uh, it may or may not work with special characters or spaces. So if you currently have spaces or special characters, you can try that initially, and if it doesn't work, uh, you can speak with the internet service provider to try to switch those and change those out of there. Uh, so the next one will be the Wi-Fi password, and as I mentioned, the, with that, you also want to make sure there's, uh, if it doesn't work initially, you might want to test trying to take out the special characters and spaces if you have any in there. Uh, the name of the network and the password will also be case sensitive. Uh, so you do want to make sure if there's any uppercase or lowercase letters, you put it in according to how it is in the router. Uh, the next thing is you do want to log in to the Zmodo app. Uh, you can find this at the App Store or the Play Store, depending on if you have an iPhone or an Android. And the next thing is you want to make sure that the camera is plugged into the same room as the router, or at least really, really close to it for the initial setup. Now, once you've finished setting it up to the Wi-Fi or connecting it to it, uh, you can then move it elsewhere and it'll just reconnect to your router as long as it's within range of the router. Uh, so basically from here, what we're going to do is just kind of go over the zinc process and how to get that connected. So as you can see, the camera here is blinking green. Uh, if it's anything else, like let's say if it's a solid blue or blinking blue or whatever, you can also push and hold down that ring there which will also hard reset the camera to where it will then uh, wipe out all those settings that are currently on there. So what you're going to see on the home screen here, this is after you just log into the app itself, uh, you're going to see the plus sign in the top right corner. We'll go ahead and tap on that. And the first one we're going to choose is the top option there, which is Zinc. And next thing we're going to do is state how many devices we're wanting to try to connect to uh, Zinc on here. In this case, it'll be one. So this will give you kind of lengthy instructions, but pretty much our goal here is to connect to the um, to the Wi-Fi network called ZMD underscore SAP, which is a connection that the camera itself gives off, so we can log into the camera and then make changes to it. So in the bottom, you'll have that tap here to begin setup. So we'll go ahead and tap on that. And you'll see the ZMD underscore SAP there. We're gonna go ahead and tap on that and we'll connect. Okay, so once we've connected, we're going to go ahead and go back to the application itself, and we're going to have to type in the SSID and the password. So as I mentioned before, we do want to make sure that we do make it case sensitive. So in this case, so as you can see, the I have three letters in there that are going to be capital, and then as far as the password, In this case, there was a small difference of what I used for the SSID and the password, but with the password, I just added a one to it. You can also see the little I to the right of it. Uh, sometimes that can help as far as just making sure that the spelling is correct, because it'll reveal whatever you currently have uh, typed in there currently. So once you've typed that in, we're gonna go ahead and hit the check mark. Now this is gonna start searching for this camera here to see if we can get that connected. So what it does is it sends a signal out, and then once it's found the device, in this case it was a little bit quicker, uh, once it's found the specific dice, device of this, uh, this one here, it will now be able to be connected. So as you can see, it's a solid blue now. And on the name up there, or where the ID is, you do want to at least name the camera. 
we'll call it camera one. Uh, the second one is the uh, time zone, and then the password, you can put that in there. Uh, it'll make it a little bit more secure for your device, so you do want to make sure that if you'd like to put a password in there, then you can just put whatever you want for that, uh, for security reasons and such. Now, at this point, uh, we can go ahead and hit the check mark on the bottom. And this will basically ask if you want to share it now or if you want to share it later, etc. Uh, so at this point, we have several different icons we'll just kind of go over briefly. The first one there is going to be the live. So as you can see with the live here, So once we pull it up, as I said, you're going to get like a live picture there. So a few uh, different icons we can go over is on the bottom there, you're going to see uh, the camcorder. That's if you want to record whatever you're seeing on the picture currently. The center one there, if you tap on that, you can speak through the pivot. And then that being said, you can also hear uh, what they're saying on the other side. So it's a way to communicate with someone remotely if you choose also. The bottom right is going to be a camera that just takes a snapshot of whatever you're currently looking at. And you'll see this black bar going across. Uh, you'll see the three dots on the left side there. And then it's for sharing this uh, camera to someone else if you want to. The second one is going to be volume if you want to turn up and down the volume of the camera. And that'll allow you to hear a little bit better. Uh, and that'll be based on your phone settings for that. The LD there is going to be for low definition or high definition. You can tap on it and it'll change the quality of the picture. The two arrows pointing opposite directions, that is if you want to set it up to where uh, you can bring it to full screen. The top right here you'll see uh, looks like a little TV with a little arrow inside. Uh, that is if you want to do any kind of playback or if you want to go to live. The center here is going to be the name of the camera itself then the arrow on the top left. So that was the live button, then you have motion. If you had any kind of motion alerts, you can basically check them there. Uh, the, this particular camera has a couple cool little features with it too. Uh, you can check like temperature. In this case, if you wanted to click on that, it'll tell you whatever temperature you're currently looking at on there. And it'll also monitor it over time. You can also have a humidity one. Uh, you can hook up like a Bluetooth to it. Then you have like a cloud if you have it subscribed to cloud. Uh, in this particular case it's not, but that will allow you to go and check cloud recordings and stuff. Then of course you have like the share icon and device settings. So share is if you want to share this camera with someone that you're already friends with on the account. And then device settings will kind of give you some information about the device if you want to check like the ID and uh, maybe you want to change the time zone on it. And it has a bunch of different stuff in there. So that is going to be how to add a pivot camera to your account. Uh, if you do have any uh, other things that you want to see videos on in the future, or if you enjoyed this video, you can like and subscribe to it. Uh, we should have more posted in the near future. Uh, and then from there, we'll just kind of, uh, if people do suggest different things that they would like to see, then we'll see if we can get those done for you. Uh, otherwise, uh, thank you for watching CCTV Help, and you have a good day.